What is up with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to another fucking vid. So as you guys seen my last vid, um, we ended up getting these, my Dremels, the VSKSs. I drove like three hours for them. I recommend you guys seeing the video. It's a good one. Um, I vlogged my way there and then telling you guys what I plan on doing with these. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys again what I plan on doing with these. So once I throw these on, which we're supposed to be getting the tires today. Let me show you guys real quick. So right there, made in Japan. These are the real deal. These are one, I mean, these are 15s times five and a half with plus 35 offset. It's a tiny rim, but I still think it's going to look pretty clean. And if it don't, I can easily get my money back because I did get them for a cheap price. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install clear tail lights to your EK hatch. If you have one, I already installed this one. Uh, these are aftermarket. These ain't the Stanleys, which I do plan on one day getting the Stanleys because better fitment. But honestly, from looking at this, bro, we have no gap here. No gap, no gap, no gap, no gap. Right here, it's a tad bit of a gap, but honestly, don't think water should be going in there. Right here, no gap, just a little one right there. All right, so I got the camera on the tripod and we're gonna go ahead and open this up right here. You should be able to access every bolt that you need to get um, right here. So let me give you guys a close up. All right, so this is the right side. So you're going to have to access this bolt. There's four bolts in each corner. The one over there, one right there, and one right there. We're going to go ahead and loosen that. And it should be an eight millimeter. Yeah. So go ahead and get yourself an eight. I'm going to go ahead and loosen this baby up. Yeah, it's up. So you want to, yep, crank loose. And you're going to go ahead and get all four out first before you do anything. So... Go ahead and do that. I do recommend you guys getting this tool because you're not going to be able to reach, I think, one bolt. I could kind of reach that one and then that one over there. But there's going to be one that's going to be a bitch to come out, but it does come out. So let's go ahead and do that. That's number one. That's step one right there. All right, so we kind of broke it loose now. All right, so main reason why we're struggling, this shit's been on for like 50 years. So uh, there you go. All right, so let me see if you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can. Hopefully you guys can. So once you pull it out a bit, there's going to be one plug right here and you're going to go ahead and take that out. It connects to your wiring. So there's a little butt in here. You squeeze it. There you go. You got to put some muscle to it, some strength. Okay, so now that we have our OEM one out, we're going to go ahead and put the clear one right beside it, right there. We're going to be switching the wire set to this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me put you guys lower so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see, man. I wish I had a better tripod or I had a cameraman, but we got to work with what we got to work with. So the OEM one's right here. And one thing you do have to do before you do anything, this right here is the thing that we unplugged right now. You're going to have to take that out completely. So you want to get good grip and you don't want to take it out at an angle. You want to take it out straight out because you're going to break the thing right here and you're going to lose value on your OEM set. So. I'm gonna hold it. There it is, it slips out. It's a bit hard, so you do have to put a bit of strength. And then you twist these. Got one out, twist it, left, lefty loosey on all of them. Um, so yeah, we got that out the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and put that this way. But before we do, um, if you get a company, I think there's a company that sells them online. They might provide these bolts. If they don't, well, you can go ahead and buy them separately. But um, these are what? These, oh no, these are fucking cut. I was about to switch them. My homeboy gave me some bolts, but they don't even fit, so we can't even slap them on. But your OEM one should do. So yeah, I try to keep them the same route. So this one goes right here. This one will go right here. Yeah. But the one we do, we could change is this one. So we're going to go ahead and take that out like that. It's pretty dirty in there. We got this one. Instead of yellow, it's going to be. Huh. I could have sworn one of them fit. It's not that one. Yep, 
there you go that fit so yeah this is the one that fits this one will be going right here just line it up basically um i'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera so all right so as you guys can see we have the connection out we have all of our wiring set i'm um, secured you're gonna want to have to put that what is it called like weather stripping on it i have one but i don't know where the fuck i left it yeah i don't know where the fuck i left it but this one should do because it already has it the oem one right there this right here so honestly i think i'm cool but i do wish i had it hopefully no water comes in but yeah you're gonna go ahead and put this right here so let's go ahead and do that hopefully you guys can see again oh well first before we do that let's go ahead and give this clean this a clean because yeah it looks pretty musty it's pretty dusty this because bro it's so fucking hard to do two things at once especially my stupid ass so right there just an insert cleaner don't put anything heavy give it a good clean up film So yeah, we got, I guess, somewhat good cleaned up. Um, we have our clears right here. And let's go ahead and connect it. Like I told you guys, hopefully you guys are uh, getting it. If not, you guys can drop down a comment. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and should just go some shit like this. Just like that, that's terrible fit, man. But once we get the bolts in, it should be something like that. So let's go ahead and bolt all four in. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do it. because, Like I said, it should just be the four corner ones again. Get your hats and then give it a nice, nice, nice tight squeeze on the bolts. That way it gives you a nice fitment. If not, you're gonna have wonky fitment like that. All right, so we got all four in. I'm hella fucking gassed already. So I'm trying to get this over with. Go ahead and put your plastic thing back. Pick up after yourself. Um, let's go ahead and see the fitment. Fitment check. It's pretty solid. Uh, I think yeah, I got way better fitment this side. Honestly, might redo it one day, but that's. I guess that will do. You can see the little gap right there. I have no gap on this side. Yeah, we definitely got to redo this because I don't think I did. I don't think I cooked as much as I could have. But um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. If we notice any water going inside, we'll touch that up. But for now, uh, we got it. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Hell yeah. We're in there. We're in there, in there. I'll give you guys a better shot in here. In here, it's not the best lighting, so it's probably gonna look like dog shit. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pack it all up. We are just getting home, and guess what we got delivered? Oh yeah, bro, I'm so fucking excited. <gasps> I see them. <gasps> I see them. I see them. Ready? Oh yeah, baby. You see that? You see that? Oh, I'm so fucking hyped. Let me park my shit. We got them. Um, the Toyos. Bro, these are nice. <laughs> I'm so fucking hyped. This fucking go. Oh yeah. We're in there. And we got the clears installed already too. Let's go ahead and put the EK inside. But what I'm thinking, bro, is I might fucking go put them on today to be honest because tomorrow i'm getting my tooth pulled out we got the tail lights in uh we got the brand new wheels we got the tires so uh shit man well go ahead and show you guys the spec i ended up going with so here we got the tires i ended up going with toyo toy tires um here we got them the specs these are the toyos um x Extensa HP, some shit like that. I'm not sure which ones, but 
yeah a bigger tire than this little shit so not a huge difference on the wall honestly but um it is going to be meatier as you guys can see the meat on that compared to this so it's a huge difference in my opinion already so uh honestly bro i'm probably gonna fuck around ahead that way to a tire shop right now and uh get these bounded the only thing i fear is i want to get these done for a low price but if you most likely go to a janky ass place they're probably going to end up giving me curb rash because i actually went through that with these i've never ever in my life and i hope i never ever do this stupid a stupid curb rash i've never done that bro like if you curb rash rims you're a fucking idiot straight up bro like how so they did this i've never ever trust me bro it's the little shit but it's a black rim so that shit will show so i was pretty pissed when um i first got my tires and i took it to this tire shop and they gave me that curb rash i was tight bro because these shits were mint and i could have probably sold them for a bit more but just because of that fucking little curb rash the price dies so um yeah i'm gonna do some research right now on a good tire shop and then we're gonna go ahead and head that way and get these mounted on to hopefully slap them on by today what time it is man i just called the tire shop uh, here locally and they said that they're gonna charge me 100 to balance them put them on well i'll put them on the car but just wrap them around the new the new rubber so yeah man they feel like fucking fit perfect back there i got a whole tire shop back there but uh let's go ahead and head that way before it gets even later and hotter it's currently like 1 p.m on uh wednesday and uh yeah man all right so we just got back home from the tire shop and bro i'm so excited so we got the tires back there with the i kept the oh i kept the ones that it came with that way i could sell them they charged me 100 bucks so i could probably sell the tires for 100 and get the money back for the mounting but bro imagine i was that low look at this shit oh, that'll be perfect bro i might have to go low it just looks way better but yeah let's go ahead and um take these babies off mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah baby mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, put them all over there in the back again. All right, so the tire shop I went to, um, they actually fucking boot ganged my, whatever these are called, the caps to air. These are work caps, so they actually took one uh, and they took another one. Well, they actually gave me another one, but the other one, they didn't even give me a cap, so um luckily i have a buddy that works there i'm gonna pop up his uh youtube and his ig right here so he's gonna get me right but yeah the tires are on um shit hopefully they look good honestly i kind of wish they were just a bit bigger but we'll see and then um hopefully i do go lower with these on they say you do but um, we'll see and i'm very very tempting to put put them on right now and honestly bro i think i am <laughs> Yes, sir, man. Clear tail lights are finally fucking on, bro. These look fucking clean as fuck. This Kanjo look, this uh, Japan retro 90s look. If you know, you know. Um, I can dig this, honestly, even like this. But we do end up throwing on our works in the next vid, which is already filmed. And I also, in that same vid, we threw on these. And then we put the front headlights. And I don't want to show you guys right now because uh, i'm going to be spoiling it but in the next clip i'm going to be giving you guys a preview of the next vid that we're going to be dropping so stay tuned bro you guys don't want to miss it and find out why they're not on right now today is currently tuesday as i'm shooting this so um yeah this is a little outro but in the next clip like i said i'm going to be giving you guys a little snippet of the next vid which the next vid you guys don't want to miss bro trust bro because that's a good one and if you don't want to miss bro you got to subscribe to the homie bruh subscribe to me bro uh some of like what 85 percent of you guys that watch my vids some shit like that it's probably even higher don't subscribe bro this content is free um i'm pretty sure i help a lot of you guys either want to buy a honda i convince you guys to want to buy a honda or you guys could relate to my content or you guys just fuck with the car um it's probably not even me it's just the car so if you guys fucking watch me bro subscribe to your boy and i'd really appreciate it 
Um, but with that being said, man, I've been fucking going crazy on the vids for you guys. So, and you guys have been watching them, man. Every vid has literally 2K views, which is insane, bro. Uh, when I see shit like that, it makes me want to post more. And that's what I'm exactly doing. I'm working on this vid for you guys. And then I'm working on the, the next vid, as I told you guys. So, yeah. Today's Tuesday. We have a couple of days to prep. This week, Saturday, we're going to a car event in Bakersfield. IFO, if you know, you know, if you're from Cali. And uh, we're going to be taking the EK to its first ever event, so you don't want to miss that. I'm going to be vlogging for when I wake up to fucking get there and everything, bro. Um, we're going to be doing walk-arounds of the whole fucking event, prepping this baby. And uh, yeah, man, you guys don't want to fucking miss out on my content because... Uh, I'm sorry. I just got out of work, so I'm trying to shoot this fucking outro and take a fucking nap but yeah man we got a lot still to do to prep this car like the trims as you guys can see they're faded we're gonna restore those we're gonna be adding the led on the tail light because as you guys seen in the last clip this was only red so we need to get this red i already have the the led i literally just passed by them right out of work we threw on our new license plate. We got the LEDs under the plate right there. We got our carbon fiber secret V2 wing. We've done a lot in the last few vids. We actually have done a lot. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep posting for you guys. Cause like I said, you guys were showing mad love. And uh, hopefully we can hit 1K soon. We just hit 600 subs. So huge shout out to you guys. Um, it just makes me motivated to keep posting for you guys and uh, making the vids better. But um, if you guys haven't followed me on IG, go ahead and do that at EK Surge. Literally, like my YouTube name. Hey guys, this is Mike. Oh, we need this more logo. That was a thumbnail right there. Uh, <laughs> bitch, that's hard. 